all right welcome back guys today we have another video in which we are going to try two players and uh, these two players are at least on paper they look pretty awesome and we are trying to replace meta players in a squad with them um, so I had Kafu whom I am um, replacing with Pedro Porro and we're going to try these players out we're going to see if they're actually worth it or if, I mean for the price they definitely could be worth it because you know they are just around 40, 40 or 45k for Pedro Porro and around 55 to 60k for the other player whom we're going to try today uh, which is Matson. And these both players on paper look exceptionally good. We're going to replace Matson with Davis. Um, I mean, we're going to replace Davis with Matson, and we're, we're going to replace Kafu with um, Pedro Porro. And of course, both the players I'm replacing are exceptionally good. They've been in my team uh, from day one when I completed them and haven't changed since then. Uh, so just for some comparison here, um, Kafu with a shadow. Um, has maxed out pace. His strength is okay. Jumping is good. Uh, uh, you know, the stamina is pretty good. Aggression is mediocre. He's good in terms of dribbling. He has good reactions and composure. Not the greatest ones. Uh, defending is good. Uh, but yeah, of course, he, this is his base version. The other version looks quite better. But when it comes to play styles, it's really, you know, Relentless Plus, which is kind of nerfed a little bit now. So I don't know how, how good it would be by the end of the games. Um, he has Trivela and Flair, again, not very useful play styles. Uh, coming to Pedro Porro, we've given him uh, um, an anchor which maxes his print speed to 98 and acceleration 94, which should not be less. With that, he has really good passing stats. Uh, not exceptional, but crossing stat is very good there. Reactions is good, composure is good. Uh, I think reaction wise, Kafu had a little bit better, but agility and balance. Pedro Poro has uh, better agility and balance. His vision is pretty good too. Defending goes to around 91 uh, uh, total when with an anchor, I think with 92 or something with shadow. Uh, but physicals really, uh, you know, buff up to around 98 jumping. Uh, strength becomes 89. He has 99 stamina already and he's 89 strength with the anchor. So with the anchor, he seems pretty good. Very solid as a right back. So you're going to see... How he feels in game but the biggest part is that he has wet pass plus so definitely his crosses would be wonderful uh, along with that he has pretty good uh, uh, defending play style so he has jockey intercept sliding tackle bruiser right so bruiser is one place i really like a lot too he's rapid and technical and he has relentless so when it comes to play styles it's clear from base kafu but the thing is in game kafu at least from the defensive side works really really well so I want to see how Pedro Poro works in those areas of the game, but we'll also try him taking try taking him a little bit forward, try some crosses, etc. Right? When it comes to Matson, we're replacing him uh, for um, uh, Alfonso Davis, and for his um, passing stats, he doesn't have whip pass plus or whip pass. That could be a little bit problematic because we do use those crossing abilities a lot of times because I think. Davis has that right yeah he has whip pass plus and we know how effective that is for the defensive style however he just has intercept Davis uh, he is rapid quick step and Trevella um, but Madsen on the other hand has anticipate plus and jockey plus two very solid play styles for, for a defensive point of view and uh, for the passing, he does have pink pass and incisive pass. So, you know, the true passes and the ground passes are much better with these. But again, uh, you know, rapid and relentless is fine. But we'll see how much of an effect it has in terms of crossing. Because, so in one way, Kafu did not have a pass plus. So we're replacing uh, Pedro Poro uh, for Kafu and uh, Madsen, you know, so kind of things... You know, like Kafu, I felt was defensively very strong. Alfonso Davis, on the other hand, in terms of defense, was a little bit weaker. So uh, Madsen is very strong defensively, specifically because of that play style, and uh, Pedro Poro because of the width pass fills in the gap, which uh, you know Kafu did not do. So I'll be trying these players out. We'll see if they can actually be replaced. 
uh, are they able to replace the meta defenders that I already had? And we'll go from there. We'll give the final verdict after playing the games. Okay, we'll see how the pace feels here. So the pace doesn't feel bad. We'll have to work out with the dribbling. We'll see. Let's see for Pedro Poro. Very good tackle there. Okay, let's see Matson's chase back here. Chase back doesn't look bad. Oh, he misses that tackle. Okay, so the anticipate did get launched, but um, did not win the ball there. That's a good ball. Yeah, the cross wasn't bad. Ah, oh, Pedro Poro. I tried that shot first time. All right, so pace, it looks good, man. Pace really looks good. Yeah, not the best of the crosses, definitely. That whip pass kind of gives you a lot, lot, lot better uh, crossing ability. But when it comes to pace, uh, okay, couldn't get him there, but... His pace really looks good. Not the worst of the passes from Pedro Poro there. Good challenge, great challenge. Yeah man, crossing wise, uh, Pedro Poro is definitely better than, you know. I mean the Vid Plus, Pass plus is there, so. All right, so jockey, jockey plus, beautiful. Oh man, that was so good. Beautiful tackle. The jockey and Addy Spade both coming into play. Ah. Uh, I wanted to use that ping pass uh, or the incisive pass for the through ball, but did not really work out well there. Nice rent. Nicely taking it away from him. I feel like, like Poro is just a little bit slow with anchor maybe. Nice pass and a good run there. Uh, yeah, I think for me, uh, he's just slightly a little bit slow with anchor. I would really want to kind of put, um, you know, a shadow on him in next game and try. Yeah, that's the cross. That's like the crossing is definitely very useful as well as pretty good too with him. All right, Madsen. Nicely chasing back. And that uh, jockey is really helpful in those situations. Yeah, good work there. Good work there. So one thing I've noticed is definitely the physical presence. That is not like Davis. So even though Davis is, um, you know, even though his defense is not top notch, but uh, because of that physical presence, he does a great job. All right, Manson, good pace there. Oh, wonderful ball. Ah, oh, could not finish that, but that was where incisive pass and uh, your pink pass comes into play. Good run. Yeah, wonderful pass again. This time we do finish. Good assist for him. So yeah, when in terms of through ball, as well as in terms of ground passes, because he has those two play styles, it really works out with him. Nicely done. 
again, Madsen involved really well. So we've seen like in terms of defensive as well as attacking capabilities, he's pretty good. But in terms of crosses, yeah, definitely he doesn't have that playstyle, so he won't be able to put in those crosses. That's really good in terms of coming back, right? That chasing by Madsen. Yeah, guys, so I'm going to try um, Pedro Poro with a shadow instead of anchor. We'll see how that works out because I really think that he needs that initial acceleration at times when going forward as well as chasing back. Yeah, long switching isn't a problem. Easily switching away. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you something. He definitely feels much better with a shadow. I can quickly tell you. Like in, even in just in one, one instance. Yeah, man, that is Pedro Poro. Nicely done. Good positioning. Yeah, moving much better now, much faster due to that acceleration. Okay, Madsen. Gonna try a little bit of crosses with him. Well, he. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's really good hand speed. Pretty good pass there. And again. Okay. Yet again, that cross, man. I mean, in terms of with the shadow, he just feels so much better. I'm not going to lie. Petroporo just feels so much better because he is able to chase back pretty quickly. Um, also go forward actually pretty well. Good pass, Madsen. Going. Yeah, his passing is really well when you come into the attacking third because um, in case of through balls, etc., he does a very fine job. Right, how about this cross? Not a bad cross, man. Not a bad cross at all. Yeah, you could see that it's not the cross, how a whip pass cross would go, but still. Ah, uh, got blocked this time. Cross fail. What a pass, man. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to it, but what a cross that was. Look at the chase back that he has now, you know, Pedro Poro in this particular situation is so fast to can come back to defense. Beautiful, beautiful tackle. That's what I expect. Uh, okay. Yeah. So in these situations, Davis is like so much better. That was very good chase back by Madsen there. Bro, I thought that was good tackle, come on. Ah, uh, Kimmich, I don't know. That was such a good tackle by Mat uh, Madsen there. Okay. Pedro Poro, beautiful tackle there. Can you reach it, Pedro Poro? Okay, well, nice work. Pushing away Joe Felix there. Wonderful pass, is it? Ah, uh, just, just slight little bit less. But that's nothing different from what Kafu would do, right, in those situations. Amazing work by Petro Poro there. You could see that dribbling. Uh, and then, you know, very incisive uh, pass for, the, the, for that finish for Lotaro. Really good work. So dribbling wise, definitely you feel that, uh, you know, when you compare it to Kafu, you, you do feel that uh, slight upper hand there.
amazing tackle there, Pedro Poirot. Nice work. Poro! Beautiful goal. We'll take it. Really nice work there. So dribbling and pace. That pace boost that he got from Shadow specifically for that acceleration is definitely very noticeable in game. So for me, you know, Shadow is the way to go and that was a brilliant tackle too. Yeah, so the through passes that, uh, you know, Madsen can provide, um, they're, they're, they're really good. Because of that ping pass and, uh, you know, the incisive pass, his through passes and ground passes are really good. That is something that lacks with, you know, uh, Davis. But again, like, you have to take that for the crosses, right? So, you cannot have the, you know, cake and eat it too. So, something got to miss. That's it. Whoa. That was an, an, you know, an amazing jump, man. Not a bad cross, man. Beautiful cross again. So I am testing those crossing situations, right? And you know, it's, you could tell that it's not the whip cross, but the accuracy doesn't seem bad. All right, Paro. Okay. Yep, there it is. The anti sweat and jockey coming together. It's really kind of, if you have control on your left back with Madsen, really difficult to get past him because he's fast and he, these two, you know, um, play styles make him really good, uh, you know, defensively. Really nice work there by Madsen again. Again, a very good pass and we can score again. Madsen's ground passing is really good. Defensively and offensively, he's, he's been really good for me. Both him and Poro, man. Alright guys, so finally, let's talk about replacing our meta players with these two. Guys, here's the thing. Both of these players are exceptionally good. Okay, I'm not going to lie. For Madsen... He has been very, very strong when going forward. His ground passes have been really good. And that is really important if you, you know, use your fullbacks to kind of go forward and use them in the build-up play. So he really does a good job at that. Both through passes and, um, you know, R1 ground passes are very accurate. There's not even like one, one time where I felt the pass was inaccurate. His crossing, yes, he does not have whip cross. However, his crossing is very solid, right? We've seen multiple times that his crosses are spot on to the player um, who's, who's supposed to get the ball. Yes, the pace in the cross is different, but still the cross itself was not bad. Um, the only thing that he lacks when I compare him to Davis is really his um, physical presence. Davis is like tall and big defender. It feels... His defensive presence in the game when he's running back a lot of times you know he kind of pushes around and it's, it's he's able to win the ball with um and you know the long legs too that works too with davis with madsen on the other hand he's not able to do those things defensively but because of that anti-spade plus and jockey plus he makes really good tackles he moves around very nicely his transitioning is really really good <clears throat> So when it comes to replacing Davis, he's a very, very solid option. Will I do it? Most likely no. And it's just because of that crossing. I really, really want that cross, you know, because that's very useful in, in, in you know, a lot of times, specifically in Division 1 and Division 2. Because a lot of times, you know, no matter how good you are, there will be players in the box who are uncovered. And that is the time where this works out really well, the whip cross. But still, he's a fabulous defender for like 60k. You're getting this guy. He's really good. I don't know what's the status on his upgrades. Maybe he gets one more or not. But <clears throat> still, as of now, he's really good. Talking about Pedro Poro, this guy is phenomenally good in terms of like, first thing first, I did not like him on Anchor. You might like him. I liked him much better on, um, um, you know, the, the Shadow Chemistry style. 
81 is his base strength even Kafu has 83 and let me tell you he was like really on the same page as Kafu in terms of all the defensive work his jumping his interceptions were amazing his passing is great he has whip cross plus a uh, whip pass plus so that makes him a very solid option he has provided multiple assists both him and uh, Matson have provided multiple assists in the games we played that his dribbling feels much better his crossing is very nice and he is a very solid option to replace your base Kafu will I do it probably yes because he feels very nice in game his aggression is very noticeable uh, he his jumping stamina he never gets tired throughout the game um, you know reactions composure pretty good I mean could be better and the thing is he might be upgraded right his status on upgrade is still uh, you know kind of in that um, zone where he might even get one or two more upgrades at least one right so I personally like both of these players and um, Pedro Poro is the one I kind of uh, got in the packs Matson I just bought to to kind of see how he feels in game is he actually able to replace Davis and he's very close but overall I won't replace Davis that's for sure but I will I might maybe <laughs> I, I can replace um, Kafu with Pedro Poro and that's about it guys both of these players in terms of value of money are really really good if you're trying to upgrade your left back or right back feel free to buy these players they're really good and with that I'll take a leave hopefully you like this video if you please like share, and subscribe means a lot and I'll see you next time in another video till, the, till then goodbye and cheers